dodge against ranged attacks, she doesn't get targeted that much, but sharpshooter, plus one damage and plus one range with, uh, with bows, that's pretty good. And now those guys are there, these guys, uh, let's travel to here, but I want to bring the rest up before I start it. Ooh, Pyolite. Imagine finding Shoe Lord staring brokenly upon the river. Was I supposed to be somewhere? Nowhere particular. What's up, Doc? I have to go away. Just like that, huh? Can I tell you the truth? There was a man named Mile. It's hard for me to say it, but... I can't help feeling responsible for what happened to him. By the way, if anyone gets the reference of what I'm doing with Shoe Lord's voice, put it in the comments, because <laughs> there is a deliberate thing with the way I'm voicing him, and uh, I wonder if anyone will recognise it. Of course you can't. That's how people like us respond when we lose the ones we care for. It's one of those things. I can't put it to rest. Well, I'm not letting you go alone. Not the way you look right now. But if both of us leave, then we have a better chance of coming back. Wait, Spriggand isn't anywhere bloody near him. Spriggand's halfway across the world. Like, I, ha I have been reading a little bit about how these trigger. And it's like, you have to have a certain uh, friendship or relationship with the other person. So it, it can't just be the person you've just met who helps you with this. Like, that's why we get, um, like, Iggy and Senia teamed up. Or um, Jire and Spriggand, because they have a rivalry. You know, th that, that kind of thing. So that's why it's picked Spriggand, who is halfway across the bloody world. But it's still weird. Yep, sure, fine, together then. Fine, together then. Uh, and Ambleton, sure, why not take him along for the ride? Uh, so I guess Jire is just going to be waiting at the smithy on her own for bloody ages. Secured the site down here. Two heartwood and two hides. Owl wise strap. I seem to have had the same ones pop up a lot, like I got three of the, the cloak, the, the crow cloak. But actually everybody's got something now. I think I'll replace Spriggan's one because potency is really valuable for a for in infusion, infusion, so I'll replace that. There we go, Shoe Lord and Spriggan have finally arrived. Only the heaviest, sharpest stars pierce the cloud cover. Slower now. Think we are near the grave site? Probably. Not sure. Remember that scholar who came through town last fall? Blonde beard, bald spot? He was from Miles Town. Knew where his bones were laid. It's strange. I'm apprehensive, I guess. I feel drawn here without fully understanding why. I get it. It's the sort of thing where you find yourself in motion before you know what it is you're hoping to accomplish. The trail they're on takes them down among trees. It's pretty isolated, hard for folks to come visit. Is that on purpose? They come upon the grave rather suddenly. It's a traditional mark with a candle for remembrance. Is this the same person? Because, like, there was a thing that, um, Shoe Lord wanted to light a candle to remember someone he'd lost before. Do you think that was the same person? That'd be really cool if that, if it was. I mean, it's, you know, it's essentially my story. So yes, it was. I'm saying it now. The message written upon the marker is simple. For Mile, whose heart was kindness. This is it, then? What was he like? Hmm. Mile. Right, well, he was a generous man. I know that could be anyone, but... Looking back, our time together was brief. He was so level-headed. A kind smile, different from me then and now, seems so long ago. Should you light the candle? He looks so pissed off. Oh, the candle? Isn't there an old rhyme? The seasoned wick takes flame easily. Pyre light, pyre light, through darkness whirling deep. May your flame guide my love to a dreamful sleep. I should send some kind of thought, or speak a verse? It's custom. That one's only got a 36%, I don't know why. So let's go with... Oh, I see, that's... he doesn't say anything, that one he does. Yeah, alright, 36%. Mile Wickle, listen. Even though you're dead and buried, 
there are so many who remember you. I couldn't save you. Couldn't say goodbye. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's his ghost. It's been lonely at times. There's friends and... But I don't feel like it's fair. Why am I stuck feeling guilty? I can't keep... I mean, I don't want to be angry, but I am. Oh, yeah, you failed it. It's all a ridiculous waste. I'm tired of it all. I just want to forget, I suppose. I'm tired. In a little while, the flame has died. Thanks for coming with me, Spriggan. Sorry it was like this. I feel- I really feel like I've messed up there. Scrrr. Local wildlife attracted to light? Yeah, attracted by the light I'd get- he literally just said that. Scrrr. Minus five retirement age. Wow, yeah, that was bad. Root bear. These large rooty beings wander the night in wild places and are rumoured to follow the moon and other lights. Oh yeah, Ambleton's here. <laughs> I always forget Ambleton's bloody here. Oh my god, that's so funny. Alright, Guardian. Uh, he moves up there and interfuses with the rocks to wild grasp the bear. And Spriggand moves up to here, interfuse with the tree, and vine wrench the bear to there. Ooh, instantly bloody killed it. Ambleton leveled up. Ooh, untouchable. Wow. When Ambleton gets a kill, the next attack against him within one turn will miss. That's pretty good. Poison offhand applies two poison to your weapon. I'm going to give that to Renvan. He's seen how Iggy does it. Hmm. Shoe Lord, are you still? I'm sorry. It's. It'll be tough sometimes. At least we've got friends. Hmm. 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 Yeah, nice ending, I guess. Shoe Lord leveled up. Uh, the repulse buff isn't particularly good. I'm going to go with hardiness. And now let's bring everybody together, I guess. What about these two? Are they, are they, sorry, these three. All right, everybody move up then. Converge on the final location. Calamity. Morthaki Weldling. To be honest, that's not too much of a problem. I'd rather save the legacy points. Leith field, yep, yeah, that's fine. Bring up the rest. And we have connected. I reckon this light is going to be um, Drimler turning into one of them. So who do I want? Let's go with Shoe Lord, Senia, Iggy, Renvan, and Spriggand. So we've got three frontliners, one backliner, and one support. To be honest, Spriggand isn't great, but yeah, he'll do. The light had begun melting back into the earth as they trudged through Leith Field. Oh sure, after we bushed our souls getting here, now you disappear? Wait a minute, isn't this around where Drimless Forge is? <gasps> the light is coming from the forge! What's that old magpie gotten up to now? Drimler! You here? Hello, we saw the, um, glow. Drimler? Oh... What do you think? Drimler's always had an air of mystery. Of course, it has been 30 years since we met, so she may be dead. No sign of her inside. Boom, crunch. Unless she's, uh, working on the roof. Crash, boom. Crunch, crack, whiz. Batch B, Watchman, and Spectic. Yes, yeah, so this is the, the fight zone from the very first level. Okay, they're coming from there. Uh, no one else is inside, so let's stack up on one of the doors. Oh, they're coming from there as well. Right, so they could come from any direction, basically. Oh, Batchby opened the door. Batchby and a butler and someone hit this door as well, which Iggy will deal with when they come in. So Senia, remember to shred the armor. And then hit him. Shoe Lord, come into wall. Indignant damage. Uh, interfuse with the boulder to then hit the Batchby in the back, killing him. Renvan and Spriggan to come into the back door. Oh, Spectres come around the side. Butler's approaching the door, sweeping up. Butler and a Watchman. Oh, wow, they are really swarming us, aren't they? I suppose it's the last battle. I go out there and. No armor to shred, so just hit him. Spriggand 
indignation and hit him. Ah, oh, damn, he took cover. Redmond to the back door and open it. No, okay, the thing that was hitting the door went around the side. I think it was suspectic. Still, I will go out that way. Let's run Iggy out there. Yep, that was the spectic hitting the back door. And Spriggan up to wall and interfuse with the bush. And then Senny just do a little bit of warding damage, which is pointless because warding recovers each turn. Yep, see it's already recovered. Oh, nice. Three damage for going in uh, to indignation range, sweeping the floor and aiming for the butler. No, oh, sorry, for the spectic. Another butler and a watchman. Renvan, come on outside. Walling with Sprigand, who interfuses with the log to splinter. Hopefully opening himself up to get stabbed by Iggy. Two poison damage, so he'll die next turn. Senia come down into the middle to hit the butler. Killed him, nice. Meaning Shoe Lord is free to kill the Spectic. I rather like this this um, melee build for Shoe Lord. Like, it's turning out much better than I expected. I just assumed because he wasn't supposed to use weapons, he would just be crap at it, but he's really not. Don't know if it's because it's a good weapon or because he's just good. Yep, Butler died. So this is it. I don't know if any have spawned at the bottom. I haven't seen any there. Oh, that was his repost. Indignation and repost. <laughs> Spectacular work, Shoe Lord. Two reposts in one turn. Right, so there may be someone down here. So let's get Iggy to explore. Oh yeah, there's the butler and a watchman and a Batchby. Crap. <laughs> that was bad. Didn't think there'd be bloody everyone down here. Still, Wagon to Splinter Blast. Hit both of them. Blocked and damage. I think I'll bring Senya back to Wall. Batch B, Watchman. Blocked, good. And a second Watchman. Swoop. Indignant. Indignance. I keep saying indignation. Indignance. Because what Walling is, is... Um, from the relationship so because they are um four level friends they get 25 extra block when walling together so it's a really really good bonus i will shield shear there to get rid of the armor and then uh blood rage in order to get the extra damage to one shot the watchman shoe lord will go here and then hit the butler yeah, th these guys are really far away. <laughs> Iggy can make it round the corner. And shoot the butler. It was pointless. The warding. The warding is, at this point, is, is too strong to be worth it. If they've got three warding, there is no way I can hurt them with uh, with melee. Ooh, block. Block. It's the walling again. It's so good. Can I see her stats? Yes, I can. So she has 20, uh, 75 block anyway, plus the 25 from that, which gives her 100 bloody block. So that's against their accuracy. Essentially, they have a much, much higher chance of blocking than anything else. Moving there to Indignant, the butler. Can I get a kill here? So let's see. Uh, the lamp. I feel like stealing fire. Yeah, it's going to jump it over Shoe Lord. That's fine. It'll be warded. So yeah, jump it through. Oh. Okay, that didn't kill either of them. Through the poison of the watchman. It's now up to three. Because of the uh, the improvement to his poison. Let's see, if I get melee down here. Uh, I don't think that's going to be enough. I'll try it. Warded. Is that enough to give him flanking? No, it's not. Oh, I'll just kill the butler anyway. Probably should have gone for the Watchman, had the flanking on that. And the Batch B. Ooh, nice! Renvan is like, but the fighting, I'm not there! Poison damage, going for Iggy. Ooh! Batch B, going for Senny, or Melly. 
the name is is <laughs> open for interpretation. Um, if I move Shoe, oh no, Shoe Lord just killed him. And can I get a hit there? All right, if I interfuse and Wild Grasp, that will hit him from this side, opening him up for Iggy to finish off with a flank. Ooh, that was a little bit hairy. A couple of them got hit. <laughs> I like how that's my definition of hairy. Bale Blade. Ooh. On a hit, grant a temporary hit point to a random directly adjacent ally. No, they're sort of not needed. Everyone's got better stuff, I think. Then again, Ambleton. All right, I'm going to replace his axe because I don't want to get rid of the Petroglass Sea Spear. They patrolled the surrounding field for four more days. There were no more Thargi sightings, but no sign of Drimler either. Maybe it's time to go home. We've done all we can do here. Doesn't it bother you though? All this nonsense and now here we are entertaining the grasshoppers with nothing to show for it? Not nothing. The homes and livelihoods we've saved so far aren't nothing. Come on, Drogglejug isn't so far. What should we do when we get there? Collapse, probably. After that, who knows? I'm sure we'll come up with something. Oh, we're not done? We are done. <laughs> that was a bit of an anticlimax. Ten years of peace follow. So I'm guessing Drimler has now turned into one of them and just buggered off somewhere. Uh, some things are lost. The Batch B Extra Armor, the second Samelia. Are the only ones of importance there? During the years of peace. Hope you have peace, Mile. Wow, he is looking old now, isn't he? Grief takes time, sometimes vast swathes of our lives. But memory is meant to outlast it. We'll always feel sadness, but with sadness and abiding warmth. Some parents ask their children, when are you going to, you know, settle down? Not before you, that's for sure. You, sh you should maybe one day commit to my father. Renvan would always find excuses to visit Galjo Smithy. His pan wouldn't sit flat, his fire poker wasn't pokey enough. Whatever the reason, it had nothing to do with the strikingly beautiful Smith who sometimes brought her work there. Senya and Iggy took their vows. Oh my god, they're finally getting married. They've been together for like, what, 40 years? They took their vows at evening tide, last day of the prosperous year. Sorry, I know I keep interrupting this. I feel like she's only getting married to make a point to her son. Look, I'm married, now it's your turn. Grandchildren, please. The air by the stump hung warm and fragrant, their breaths en entwined, Senia's smile glowed. In town, their feast had finished, but they returned for songs and stories before sleep. The long-looked-for wedding would be a happy memory for the rest of their lives. Hiking the perilous Drogglejug range provided Jaya with a different kind of opponent. There is no hatred in the heart of a mountain, but neither is there mercy. Jaya took what lessons she could from it. Ambleton was visited once by a woman cloaked in ivy. This seems out of nowhere. The spirit laid three futures out for Ambleton to pick from. After much soul-searching, one was finally picked. Advance Jaya's transformation. Minus health and plus warding crow leg. Yep, do that. Clearly from the hits I started getting in this one, I need to upgrade some armor. So let's go with a straight upgrade to Senia. She looks really good. And upgrade for uh, Shoe Lord and Jaya as well. And Renvan making him eat. Oh no, that yeah, he's slow because of the armor he's wearing. But yeah, let's buff him again. Basically, everybody's weapons are fine. It's mostly the armor that I'm concerned with. Upgrade Ambleton's armor and Spriggan's robe. So now Iggy is the only one with tier one armor. But I can't actually afford it. I need hides and spell threads, but I don't have those. I've got tons of heartwoods, but basically nothing else. I sort of want to improve his dagger, because he sort of missed a, three, a few kills before legacy points is way too much. Yeah, okay, I think that's us done then. Lonek. Lonek. Lonek, it worked. No, you didn't. Please don't be afraid. There is no need to be afraid of your feral. You're not fair. You, why did you design yourself to have the skull visible? That is literally a, a symbol of fear and death throughout the world. Lunik, we should be celebrating. It was supposed to be Dalek. It's gone rather papyrus now, hasn't it? 
I can make you a body too. Then we will find others. No, this is wrong. Times of peace and times of strife grind their great circles. And the star of war makes its way across the sky again. It's official, a bunch of people at the Lucky Ken spotted them. Oh, right, that's the face I made too, but this time we got an advantage. Look, Shoe Lord's company can turn the tide, an entrance splits the bold and north of Kulira's Gusht. I found it attached to my door. Hmm. Kulira's Gusht is far out, but not impossible to reach. It's not that, it's... I love a scavenger hunt as much as the next fellow, but... Do you have any better ideas? The shadows deepen. And that is it for chapter 3. As we go into chapter 4, I will continue that next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet, check out the first campaign and the other parts of this one. And I'll be back with more Wildermyth soon. Thank you very much and I will catch you later.